Normally, a saint is honored on the day of his or her death, the day they leave this life and enter into heaven. But sometimes their feasts are moved to other days. And today, I'd like to talk about a saint who for years was celebrated on this day and still is by my religious order, the Jesuits. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the saint whom my community honors today, instead of on the day he died, a few days before Christmas when saints tend to get lost, is St. Peter Canisius. In fact, he's the patron saint of the main chapel in my community at Marquette University. He was an amazing man who entered the Jesuits when he was 22 in the year 1543 and worked tirelessly for the renewal of the church of his time. Part of that was to make sure that there were good catechisms available to pass the faith on to children. And the ones he wrote went through over 200 printings in his lifetime and were translated into 15 languages, including Japanese. He's known as the second apostle of Germany and did much to counter the religious errors of his time. But he always did so with love and gentleness. About those who had drifted away from the Catholic faith in Germany, he once said, Certainly, an infinite number of them adhere to the new sects and err in religious belief, but they do so in such a way as proves that their errors proceed from ignorance rather than malice. They err, I repeat, but without contention, without willfulness, without obstinacy. And he went on to say that even those who were stubborn and defiant should not be treated with discourtesy. Why? Well, as he put it, this is nothing else than the opposite of Christ's example. And what is Christ's example? St. Peter Canisius said it was to fulfill what Isaiah wrote. He will not break the bruised reed, nor quench the smoldering wick. 